Well, good evening. The image is that of Henry Martin, a translator of the scriptures of missionary in India and Persia, died in 1812 TB, giving his life in the service of God. Let us pause for a moment and then we will begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 31 verses 1 to 5. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Colossians chapter 2, verses 12 to 14. Having been buried with Christ in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith in the workings of God, who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave all our sins, having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, 
who stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father God, at the end of a day which has contained so much, so much drama, so much tension, so much conflict, so much wrong, Father, we thank you that your love, your grace, the sacrifice of the Christ and the power of the Spirit have this day conferred on us sonship, not as something sexual, but as with the practice of the son, the eldest son, the heir, inheriting all, each of us, male or female, have within us, before us, that sonship, which is given all that the Father has. We thank you, Father, for your Trinity, for your three in oneness this night. For you surround us, you stand with us. And Father God, we thank you that we, who have been buried with Christ in baptism, in which we were also raised with him through our faith in the workings of the Godhead. Who raised him from the dead. Father, for your plan of salvation for us made real in Christ and enabled and lived out in us every day. We come and we thank you that though we were dead in our sinful natures, in the broken and wickedness of our flesh, that you, Father God, made us alive with Christ, that you forgave all our sins, and you cancelled the laws that proclaimed us guilty and condemned us taking them away and nailing them to the cross, that we are this night free from the power of sin, 
from the wickedness of our own sinful natures. And we come to you in that right, in that sense, heirs of the one true living God. And we pray for the people on our hearts and minds this night. We pray for Charlotte and Ryan and the life that is within Charlotte for Poppy and Elliot, for Timon and Helen, and the life that is within them, and all we know who are pregnant. And as we look and we pray for new life in the flesh, Father, we praise you. We thank you that we have new life in us also by the power of the cross. This night, Lord, we ask that you would comfort all who mourn. This night we think of all that has happened for the people we know who are struggling with living dementia, a reality for the people we know with cancers and with organs that are failing, for the people we know who struggle in body, mind and spirit. Father, as we pause and lift to you the people on our hearts and minds this night, we thank you that we are yours. And as we pray and lay those we know and love before you, as we prepare to lay ourselves in our beds. Father, we pray for all who this day and this night mourn the loss of loved ones. Those who waking tomorrow will wake saddened. For those that we see no longer. And Father, we pray for those who each day hold close to them anniversaries, as tomorrow we remember the fourth anniversary of Judith Grant and her stroke and the journey that left to her demise. But though the body dies, eternity is made ours for whether we wake or sleep we are in christ whether we go to the heights the depths to the farthest most places to the darkest places even to the grave you were there before we were you knew us when in this life we are no more that knowledge continues father god we come before you now looking at the image of Henry Martin a man who died of TB a man who served and the collect for this man almighty God who by your Holy Spirit gave Henry Martin a longing to tell the good news of Christ and skill to translate the scriptures by the same Spirit, give us grace to offer you our gifts, wherever you may lead us, at whatever the cost. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour gave us the words, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. Oops. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So Lord, come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us this night. Sleep well and may those for whom you pray and those places and situations that you pray for and all creation, O oh God's hand, his health and his peace. Thanks for being with us, guys, and sorry when I'm so busy praying I forget to open my eyes and make sure I'm pressing the right button. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless you guys. Sleep well.